one more thread I'd be doing not magic with this, but look at me and tell me that I'm prepared for that. No one should ever like look at me and be like, this is a good idea. Hashtag, I don't have anything. Idiot, I'm an idiot. Don't ever say that I don't do things for content. My art, oh, there we go, good. Hello, Archangel Michael. Hope you're having a good day. Hi, Wishlings. Welcome to my channel. It is me, your local chaotic witch hunt. Today, we have a very fun video for you. I just went around and lit all my candles. As you can see, I got a little protection candle going. Uh, a few others going, DD candles. I lit every candle except for Hades because I want to give some attention to Persephone. Today we have a very fun, very, very fun, very fun video planned. I'm personally excited for it. It is 100% inspired by um, the Witch of Wonderless video where she made her friends do Yuletide crafts. And I was like, you know what? I would love to do some Yuletide crafts. I want to do that for a video. That sounds really fun. Um, I've never done Yuletide crafts before. <laughs> I am not a crafty person. Um, so this is going to be a fuck around and find out video. I was going to make a Yule log, but the only place that I could find a log was at Home Depot and the logs were firewood and I feel like it may not be good to make a Yule log out of firewood. At least that's what my boyfriend thinks. We have two activities here today. We have, okay, geez, calm down. A very nice orange commander. I got oranges, I got cloves, I don't have thread, but we'll figure it out as we go along. This isn't even an orange, it's a clementine. We work with what we got. <laughs> and I also bought yeah, a cinnamon broom. And I've never had a cinnamon broom before, and the reason why is apparently because my mom thinks they're tacky, and that's okay. I like them. I am going to cleanse this and probably turn it into a little protection charm. It looks like you can hang it already which is great. So I may just add some bells and whistles to it, give it my own flair, um, and then work with that. All of this stuff was found at a, at a, at like craft stores. Oh, the, these cloves are powdered. Oh, that ain't good. How did these cloves end up powdered? What? Huh, sniffing it probably wasn't a good idea. God, we're off to a really good start here, guys. Um, winter solstice is tomorrow, which is so exciting. Ayo, it's leaking. Is that supposed to happen? I am a fan of the winter holidays. As we do our winter solstice crafts, feel free to do crafts along with me. This is a juicy clementine. I'm regretting not eating it. These cloves are kind of wimpy. I got some wimpy cloves. So far, so good. Winter solstice is the shortest day of the year, which is very exciting because then the daylight returns and we all get to celebrate and start moving back towards the summer holidays. Personally, I don't celebrate what I would call Yule because I believe Yule has kind of two histories. All right, there are a couple his- ah. Smells tasty. I'm gonna smell like cloves for the rest of the goddamn day. So I believe the original- uh, oh, broke off. The original Yule was a Yule, J-O-L, multiple day celebration. I believe there are some origins with Odin, so I hope Norse heathens are having a great time. I do love winter holidays because I feel like everyone's happy and drunk all the time. I know I am. Why is it breaking off in my hand? There are lots of winter solstice holidays that I believe are celebrated across the globe. Um, lots of versions of, I guess, what modern day pagans and witches would call Yule um, because I believe Yule now the term has become kind of synonymous with the winter solstice like when you celebrate Yule you're celebrating the winter solstice when it, I think traditional celebrations don't break don't I believe traditional Yule celebrations were Norse or Germanic at least in nature I believe they were Norse or Germanic in nature and they lasted days like 12 days and since then you know, modern wheel of the year or the Wiccan wheel of the year, we see Yule being the day of the summer solstice, kind of different celebrations coming about. If I'm incorrect, 
please feel free to correct me in the comments because trust me when I say that I don't pay a lot of attention to the modern wheel of the year I mean it. I did do a Sabbath series but I did the Sabbath series and most of the holidays on it I didn't celebrate. <laughs> I'm a non-traditional bitch. Oh broken my hands. Okay. I'm supposed to have thread I think to tie this up. This is cute. Nowadays, you know, we see you all being synonymous, synonymous with the winter solstice, which I think is interesting. So when I celebrate, and I'm also not harping on anyone who calls the winter solstice Yule, do what you will. Oh, come on. Okay, it's done. I usually refer to these holidays as the, I just vacuumed my room. Now there are clothes all over it. God. I know I have thread somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay. Got some red thread that we'll be using to tie this baby up. I usually refer to it as the winter solstice. That's just me personally. Cause I kind of looked at the celebrations for Yule last year and I'm like, I don't think I even like really understand this holiday in its full capacity. Oh, I'm so sticky. That's such a bad idea. Are you stuck on a clove? I just lost some of my thread on a freaking clove. Tie it around the bottom. It smells nice. Let me tell you that. This is like, I think the most chaotic video that I've made in a while is me trying to do this. So fun story about orange pomanders. I actually got in a little tussle with my parents the other day. It wasn't even a tussle. It was, they were like, orange pomanders aren't witchy. We did them. Um, all the time when we were kids. And I'm like, well, yeah, you definitely did, but they're also witchy in nature. They're little prosperity spells. They were also probably charms to ward off witchcraft, maybe, possibly. There are a lot of like things that I found when I researched. This doesn't even look nice. Oh, okay, we're fine, we're fine, everything's fine. I think they're gonna, this is supposed to dry out and like last forever, which is nice but I am creating this as a little prosperity and protection spell. I didn't do this well. It's the thought that counts though, right? Like, I, it doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to work. I made it. And now we have an orange commander that we can put somewhere. This maybe will go on my Christmas tree. One craft done. I need a coffee break, please. Um, now we open this baby. So I'm really unsure with how to approach the situation. Oh, it smells like cinnamon. It's not actually cinnamon, it's pine straw. Cinnamon broom. So I guess, oh, I can hang it. I was just gonna keep it by my, what is this? Oh, it's glue on the end. I was just gonna keep it by my front, my, my door, you know? Why is it shedding? Why is every craft that I chose messy? Is this what crafting is? I hate it. So I'm gonna take some mugwort and cleanse this bitch for extra protection. Light this baby up. Give it a second. All right. Okie dokie. This is going well. I also have some bells that I think I'm gonna put on this cinnamon broom. Okay. So I'm actually gonna tie this into the baby. Because why not? Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I think I just, if I wrap it, oh. Okay, so we're not using that piece of pit. <laughs> I have some leftover red thread that I'm gonna use. Thread the needle, mew, alrighty. Bells are also really protective. From the research I did, bells, well actually not bells, cinnamon brooms are great for protection and warning off evil spirits, which is my favorite thing. This is like high key witchy and like no one can tell. And also Italian folk magic, 
Um, keeping a broom by the door, well actually in a lot of folk magic, it's not just Italian folk magic. Keeping a broom by the door wards off. I want this to hang. How can I? Nice. It wards off evil spirits, banishings, bindings. The idea is that the binding or the banishing like has to count all the fibers in the broom before it even like, before it can come in and do what it wants. The idea of a spell as like a anthropomorphic being is something really interesting to me. Um, so we have a bell on it. I also have some sticks of rue and a deer antler that I think could be cool. Give a little Diana note. How am I? Okay. How? Okay. Here's the deal. I don't come prepared to any situation. I understand what I'm supposed to have. I don't have it. I need this deer antler to not be a... Diana, please. Okay. Diana, I would love to put this on here and make it pretty, but I'm gonna need you to cooperate, all right? So obviously if you get a cinnamon broom, you can leave it alone. I like cleansing and adding things to mine, as you can tell. Okay, will you please, what is this freaking tinsel shit? Okay. You got deer antler on one side, a bell on the other. Cleansed with mugwort, I'm excited. I'm gonna place this by my door. Protection! And also the bonus of this is that it smells freaking delicious. It smells like cinnamon. Cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. Anyways, I think maybe next year I'll make a cinnamon broom myself or some kind of thing like that. That looks like a lot of lot of pieces of branches. I don't know if I have that kind of patience. God, I gotta get a broom. Okay, <laughs> I very much enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making this video. If you got inspiration for a Yuletide craft in this video, please let me know. Let me know in the comments. If you have another Yuletide craft that you enjoyed making, I think I made a witch ball last year. I really liked it. Please let me know in the comments. I will try it out. But in any way, shape, or form, I hope you have a blessed winter solstice, a blessed Yuletide. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. I also celebrate Christmas. Yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember to drink water. Drink water. Have a good day. Sa Benedica.